According to breastcancer.org, one in eight U.S. women will develop breast cancer in the course of their life. And since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we wanted to shine light on a business focused on making that journey a little more bearable. Squash Cancer is an online only business that ships comforting and inspiring gifts nationwide. Michelle Camrath Fields is the founder and CEO. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. And before we get into it, we need to mention you yourself had breast cancer. So when were you diagnosed? So in November of 2020, I felt like a little piece of sand underneath my skin. And I thought, wow, this is different. <laughs> I could, should, get, should get this checked out. So I went to the uh, doctor, had a mammogram, and long behold, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, not only in my breast, but also in my lymph nodes. So what did that mean then for treatment? I mean, this is like a ton yeah to consider it is so i went through radiation i went through chemotherapy double mastectomy hysterectomy and lots of surgeries in between and you're so positive yeah. about it right now because yeah. you did conquer it right yeah. so what happened there how long was it so it was an 18 month journey okay mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you're cancer free. Cancer free. But of course, going through yeah. all of that changed the trajectory of your life, really, yep. mm -hmm. and birthed this business. So tell us yes. about squash cancer. So after I had, uh, you know, gone into remission, I had a lot of friends and family ask me, hey, Michelle, you know, I have another friend who is going through cancer. What could I get them? When I made recommendations, I wasn't really happy with a lot of the products that are out on the market. And so what I decided to do was uh, start hand selecting and, and curating different uh, things for people that would be uh, beneficial to the cancer patients so yeah 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 and so if you go online you know and order something it comes yeah. in this beautiful box yeah, right so this is the box that it comes in yep. and you brought some of the items here yep. popular yeah what's this one so this one is actually a blanket okay. and um, when you're going through chemotherapy, you get chilled a lot. And okay. so this is, <laughs> having a dedicated blanket really is helpful yes. through the process. And yeah. I didn't even unfold it all the way, but it, it's large and thick, so I can understand yep. that. What about these cute socks? So um, I also have compression socks in here. When you are going through chemotherapy and, and just different treatments, um, you know, I had my lymph nodes removed, and so my arms and legs were likely to swell, and so compression socks help a lot. And so the compression socks on the market aren't as uh, beautiful, so I wanted to come up with something fancy. They are, they are <laughs> cute. Yeah, because normally they're just like this black, yeah. you know, kind of yeah. dull. And then I yep. see bath salts. I mean, <laughs> cancer or not, these are nice for the bath, right? Yeah, so when, when you're going through treatment, you're sore all the time. Mm -hmm. And so just doing a lot of self-care is really important. So I wanted to select something that demonstrated self-care. Different scents. Yep. What's the journal about? So when you're going through cancer, um, it affects your body, but it also affects your mind and your, and your <laughs> uh, mind. So you, what you want to do is you want to, you know, sometimes journal and write your thoughts down. And so get that all out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's it's therapeutic. Yeah. You know? So yeah, you, you, you have to kind of record where you were mm -hmm. and then how to process through some of those things because it's a grieving process. I'm sure. I mean, yeah. what was it like for you emotionally? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, what you want to do is just kind of get those feelings out mm -hmm. and, and uh, recover. So. I think I caught, oh, we've got a couple pictures, I think, that have been yeah. going out here yeah. and there. Uh, as we said earlier, you know, this was your own journey with breast cancer. So, yeah. uh, you know, this is uh, your partner supporting yep. you here yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. So cool. And then we have um, one last thing here. I can catch a whiff of it, and I just think <laughs> it looks so nice. So tell me about this one. <laughs> so it is actually a spa wrap, um, and you throw it in the microwave for a couple minutes, and then you, um, or you can put it in the freezer for a couple minutes. Yeah, and then so it, when you are, you know, going through therapy, you just get sore, like I had mentioned, and uh, this really helps take it <laughs> out, uh, take out the. Yeah, you know, the stress and the pain. Yeah, and you know these gifts would really be good for any type of cancer. You know, we're talking yep. about breast cancer, mm -hmm. but I think, and that's in your yeah. logo too, yeah. right? There's the different mm -hmm. cancers yes. depicted in the colors. Yes. So each of the colors represents a different type of cancer. So it's not just breast cancer only. I wanted to be inclusive and supportive for anybody yes. who has any type of cancer because everybody needs help. Absolutely. Because bearing through cancer is very difficult, and so that's the goal of the Swash Cancer is to help people through comfort. It's beautiful. And then a portion of the proceeds yep. goes back into a cancer institute as yeah. well. But I wanted to say, you know, you learned a ton, of course, yeah. going through your journey and now developing this business. I heard you have some trivia for us today. I do. So um, true or false, <laughs> you're, um, can you get cancer um, if your family, if, if you have a family history of it? 
Uh, yes, I would say true. Yep, you yeah. can. But um, also, um, another question for you. Okay. Can men or women, I mean, I'm sorry, can men get breast cancer? Uh, yes. I didn't know yeah. this, but I found that out and was super surprised. That's right, mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I have another question for you. Can you get breast cancer if you've gone through menopause? I, I no. Is that false? Can Actually, you, get you can. You can. So it's very important to can um, continue to get checked. Yes. Yeah. All very good. Yeah. Now, uh, for people that want to, you know, check this out, your website, squashcancer.com. Yep. And right now you're doing some kind of giveaway. Yes. So if you know somebody in your life that is going through cancer, you can go to my site uh, and nominate them to receive a gift box. Okay. And so um, it's very, very comforting. Yeah. Is there anything mm. as we close out today that you would want to say to somebody that's <clears throat> going through cancer to help inspire them? Of course, like gifts, those are, you know, yep. that is inspiring, that brings comfort. But what about some words? Um, just that we're rooting for you. Yes. And you can get through it. Yes. And you are loved and supported. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, congratulations on Thank how you. far you've come yeah. and uh, creating this wonderful business. Again, we'll toss it to the website. We've got uh, squashcancer.com up on the screen. Thank you so much, Michelle. Yeah, thank you for having me.